and you don't have to be in a rush to open your business so quick okay because that's where people fail if you're in a rush to open your business so quick and you're so in a rush to get sales you're not going to get any because you're in a rush back with another video before we do jump into this video whether you are new or returning go ahead and subscribe to my channel also make sure to give this video a thumbs up so youtube knows that we get lit around here okay in today's video i have been requested by you guys on doing a video on how to start a business i make a few business videos here and there and y'all like okay sis we get the business videos but how do we actually start a business like what I got you sis I am here to tell you and I know that y'all are probably like if you've never seen none of my videos don't know nothing about me this is the first time you've ever clicked a video from I are probably like how is she qualified to tell me this information so if you've never watched a video of mine my name is Candice Renee I am 24 years old I am a graphic designer and a business mentor I have a business Renee Digitals and Marketing at Renee Digitals and Marketing what I do is I help businesses get to their six-figure vision and how do I set business? How do I get businesses to their six figure? How do I get businesses to their six figure vision? I do that through graphic design, through my ebooks, and by selling vendors to help you get started. And I have a lot more coming up, but that's qualified top secret information. I can't tell y'all right now, but y'all gonna get the tea sooner or later. Okay, that is a little bit about me. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get into what this video is really about, and it's about how to start a business. So if you wanna know how to start a business, then just keep on watching. The first thing that you wanna do is you want to find what you wanna sell. That is like the most important thing because you can't have a business if you don't know what you wanna sell or what you wanna serve. What you do is get a piece of paper, um, whether you're doing a cert, whether you wanna do a service or whether you wanna do a um, product and write down all the things that you know how to do and write down all the things that you enjoy and see how you can sell that and mush that into a business do not do a business because you see Sally Drew and J Sally Drew Jack Amy Bob Nunu Kiki and them making millions off of doing this whatever they're doing because that's what they're passionate about and that is their plan and their vision and one person's plan is not your plan. The way somebody got successful is not the same way you're gonna get successful. So don't do something because you see the next person doing it and you think that you can get rich off doing it because baby, you cannot unless you're doing it for the right reasons and not doing it just to get rich quick because starting a business is not a get rich quick scheme, okay? So you want to write down what you want to sell what you want to sell or what you want to serve, what you're good at, what you're passionate about. Next thing that you want to do is you want to figure out what your target market is. So target market, y'all, is so important because if you do not know who you're targeting, then your whole business is just trash. Like, you don't, if you don't know who you're targeting, then you don't know how, you don't know what your market is going to be, what your brand is going to be, what to sell. Your target market basically makes your business go around. It's like, your target market is like, the blood that pumps the heart of your business because with no target market sis your business is dead because you don't even know who you're talking to it's like your business is talking to a brick wall because you don't know who you're talking to so to find your target market you have to be very specific you cannot just say i'm targeting college students that need hair i'm targeting older women that need clothes i'm targeting moms i'm targeting moms that have a kid what bro what are you talking about man no no you need to be specific you need to know their age you need to know where they're from you need to know are you targeting men or women you need to know the sex you need to know what platforms are they on you need to know if they have a job or if they're college students you need to know their income so you know how to price your products and what your target market can actually afford you need to know what type of music they like you need to speak their language you need to know who they're looking up to you need to know what times they're on instagram or twitter or youtube or whatever you're deciding to do a one it goes deep in the target market if y'all want me to make a video 
on how to find your target market leave a comment below and i will do a full in-depth video because that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day but let me know if that's something that y'all want to see but your target market is super duper important y'all so you need to know what you're targeting so after you find out what you want to sell and find out who you who your product is for the next thing that you need to do is find a vendor so find a vendor if you are doing a product if you're doing a product that you need to find a vendor if you're doing a service you need to get what you need to get for that service so for example i do graphic design if you are deciding that you want to be a graphic designer you need to get your adobe account together you need to make sure you have a good computer you need to make sure that your computer has room because if you're a graphic designer maybe you're going to need all the space you can get on that computer okay you need to make sure that your stuff is neat you need to make sure that you have everything all the systems in place so but for a product you need to find a vendor so as you guys know i do sell vendors on my website i sell clothing vendors i sell press on nail vendors i sell hair vendors my hair vendor that i use for three years i sell all types of vendors and i always update the list if i ever try a new vendor like if i try another hair vendor and i really like it i will add it to the hair vendor list um i also have hair product vendors um so like if you're trying to start an edge control line or if you're trying to start a hair care line, I have that vendor as well. I have a chemist. Um, I use the edge control every day. Like I have good vendors. So make so I'm going to leave the link down below like I always do. I'm going to leave the link down below to my vendors. You guys can use the code YouTube for money off of any vendor that you guys see on my site. Um, yeah, the discount code is YouTube if you need vendors. But yeah, so you need to find a vendor. Um, like I said, I will go. I actually have a video on how to find how to source vendors on Alibaba. I also go deep into how to source a vendor in my ebook. My ebook is called How to Communicate with Vendors and how they operate so it's basically an ebook that talks about how to communicate with vendors how to use whatsapp how to negotiate prices how to talk to vendors to where they can give you free samples just basically how to how to talk to the vendors and talk their language to get what you want out of them okay so i have that ebook along with the vendors like i said you can use my code youtube for 10 percent off of anything on my site um since i love y'all give y'all a discount okay so it's 10 percent off you can get the ebook and you can get a vendor 10 percent off on my website make sure you guys use the code youtube to get money off on vendors okay so yeah, but you do want to find a vendor. You want to source a vendor. You do not have to source a vendor off of Alibaba. You can source a vendor off of Instagram. You can source a vendor off of Pinterest. Like you can find them. Honestly, the best hair and lash vendors are on Pinterest and Instagram because that's where I found my vendors at. Like I said, if you guys want to know how to properly source a vendor on Alibaba, I actually have a full video on it. So you guys go check it out. I'll leave the link down below. And if you want to know how to source a vendor off of Instagram and source a vendor off of Pinterest, I talk about it in my ebook, how to communicate with vendors and how they operate. That will be in the link down below as well. If you guys want to get that again, use the code YouTube for money off on my ebooks and my vendors. You want to create your name. So you want to have a name, y'all. You want to have a name because once you find your target audience then you'll have your name because if you have a name then you know the name to that will attract the audience that you're trying to attract so i suggest when you're coming up with your business name try to come up with something that is not basic okay um please 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 when y'all come up with your business name leave these names out okay no barbie no mink oh i hate the word mink Ugh, makes my skin crawl no barbie no mink no collection, no boutique. What's another one? No tresses. Like, come on, y'all. We done seen so many Barbie boutique tresses and looks. Who y'all leave Lux alone, especially if you are not a luxury brand. You better not have Lux in your name. If you're not having a luxury brand, don't even use the word Lux. It's just... No. But honestly, even if you have a luxury brand, Lux, no. Y'all, please be creative with these names. We don't want to see no more mink Barbie tresses, sweetie. We don't want to see it. 
please come up with something more creative. I promise y'all, if you come up with something besides the names that I just named, you will stand out more with your audience because you have a name that just sets you apart from people in your industry. I also talk about that in my ebook, which is called Outshine the Competition, How to Stand Out in a Saturated Market. And one of the things I do talk about is your name. Make your name stand out from people in your industry. If you see that so many people in your industry is using mink Barbie tresses, collection and stuff like that then you need to use something completely separate because you're gonna blend in with the minks the barbies and the tresses There's gonna be so many mink barbies and tresses i ain't gonna i ain't i'm just gonna be lost in the mink barbies and tresses i'm not gonna know what to choose y'all create your own lane you do not have to be like everybody else create a name that steps outside of the box Okay, like for example, I renamed my business Renee Digitals and Marketing. I could have easily said graphics by Renee, or I could have easily said Renee's graphics, but I said Renee Digitals because I don't see a lot of people with digitals, okay? And plus, I've named my business Renee Digitals because I'm doing more than graphic design. I'm also selling digital products. So boom, 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 it worked, okay? And also, you don't want to limit your name to one product. So for example, you don't want to name your business Princess you don't wanna name your business Princess Lashes and you wanna sell more than lashes, okay? You want to name your name something to where you can add it anything. Like, because you don't wanna name your business Princess Lashes and then later down the line you decide that you wanna sell lashes and you wanna add cosmetics and you wanna add hairpins or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because if I hear Princess Lashes, all I'm thinking is lashes and oh, like let's just say I needed some lip gloss and you, you Princess Lashes sells lip gloss, but I'm not going to go look at Princess Lashes' business for lip gloss because her name is Princess Lashes. So I'm going to automatically assume she sells lashes, you know what I'm saying? So you want to pick a name where you can sell anything with that name and not just be limited to one product, if that makes sense. Okay, so next thing you want to do when you start a business is that after you get your samples from your vendor, you need to take pictures and you need to do videos and you need to market so let me tell y'all the secret sauce here you want to start taking pictures and videos early you want to start promoting your business early before it even comes out so you want i know people probably like start the website then launch no what you want to do is you want to build anticipation for your for your website and I mean not for your website but build anticipation for your business so what you want to do is you want to start taking pictures you want to start doing videos you want to start doing tutorials and then make the instagram page once you make the instagram page you want to start making tutorials taking pictures doing videos doing a photo shoot and start uploading content then once you start uploading content you want to start running ads to and start promoting your business before you even make a website and the reason why i say do that is because you want to get people familiar with your business before it even launches. You want to get people knowing your business before it even launches. You want to build anticipation for your business before it even launches, okay? You want to build that hype. You want to build that anticipation. You want people to see your product and you want to build up kind of like a foundation, if that makes sense. You want to build a foundation for your business first before you just go launch it. Because if you just go launch your business and there's no foundation, you're not going to have any sales because you didn't build up an audience you didn't build up anticipation you didn't do enough promoting and advertising before you just launched that business you need to take pictures do videos and stuff because if you just launch a business don't nobody know you so don't nobody know you don't nobody trust to buy from you yet people have to see your business seven to eight times before they even buy from you so i say start the instagram page first Start the Instagram page first. Start uploading and making content for your business first. And you don't have to be in a rush to open your business so quick. Okay, because that's where people fail. If you're in a rush to open your business so quick and you're so in a rush to get sales, you're not going to get any because you're in a rush. Anything that you rush is not going to be perfect. Trust the process. Trust the process, y'all. Trust the process and build a solid foundation for your business first before you just go and just 
start trying to sell okay because people need to trust you people need to see your brand see your business before it starts so i say build a foundation up for your business first build the, build the home for your business okay build your business a little home to come in and then have an open house for all your customers okay like you know show your business list it out like show your business first and get people built up get people hype get people anticipated start a youtube channel about your about your business journey if you guys don't know if you guys haven't seen a lot of girls are blowing up on youtube for doing their starting a business journey like a lot of girls are doing a start your business journey where they're showing people how they do their how they do their packaging how they got their llc how they did this how they did that before they even launch that's called building anticipation before you launch so then when you do launch you going off you going off you feel me you going off so that is why I say build the Instagram page first, have content for your business first as you're growing it and then launch, okay? Then a lot of people have a question about, do I get my LLC first, this and that and the third? I do not suggest anybody to get their LLC or get a trademark when you first start. First of all, a trademark is very expensive. And I feel like if your business is not making big money, then you don't need to get a trademark. You know what I'm saying? If your business is not making a lot of money. And a lot of people ask, well, what if somebody steals my business name um, before I get a trademark? I mean, to be real, your business is not that big yet and your business is not that popular yet for somebody to steal your name. And that kind of goes back to where I say, if you were creative, when nobody steal it because when nobody think of that because you came out with something extremely unique you see you see where i'm going with this you see where i'm going with it yes you see, you see where I'm going okay just making sure that we on that same level headed field playing field okay so you need to wait till your business is big now i do suggest getting an ein number first the ein number is basically like a tax id for your business in georgia it is free on the IRS website. I do not know about other businesses. Google it for your state, but get an EIN number. It's a tax ID number for your business. You can take that tax ID number and go open up a business account. I definitely suggest to open up a business bank account. Um, be while you're in the while you're in the process of making your website and building and getting your content together and stuff like that behind the scenes. You need to open a business bank account. I definitely suggest open a business bank account. Um, you can open a business bank account. I did a video on how to open on the process of opening a business bank account. I did that video a couple of months ago. Um, I think I'm gonna link it. I'm gonna link it down below if I can figure out which video it is. But you want to open up a business checking account and you can do that with an EIN number. I highly suggest opening a second a separate business a separate account for your business. Do not do not let me tell you I made the same mistake. This is probably why yeah it's probably why I taught business uh money manager was not my friend. Um you want to open a separate bank account for your business and you want to do it for tax purposes okay because let me tell you you want to open a bit no let me tell you, you want to open a business bank account and you want to open a business bank account and when you have to buy things for your business you want to buy it off of your business bank account under that EIN number that's attached to your business bank account because when it's tax season you can write stuff off on your taxes that you purchase with your business bank account as long as you purchase it with your business bank account your business bank account is under your EIN number so when you walk into the bank when I walk into the bank, I am not Candace. I am Renee Digitals and Marketing when I walk into Regions, because that's where my business bank account is. When I walk into Regions, I am not Candace. I am Renee Digitals and Marketing. I don't, when they have to find my account, I don't give them my social, I give them my tax ID number. My social security number is not attached to my business bank account because when you open a business bank account, it's like your business is a whole separate entity of itself, okay? So you want to open a business bank account to keep your money in. Now you can have a personal bank account. You don't have to have a business bank account. You can get another separate personal bank account if you decide to be a sole proprietor. If you decide to be a sole proprietor, then you can open a personal business bank account and you can do it like that. But 
And if you are, if you decide that you want to be a soul prop, then you do not have to get an EIN number because everything is going to run under your social security number. I am not the right person to discuss a bunch of legal matters with y'all. I am not a lawyer, so I don't want to get into it. I got an LLC. So yeah, I talk about LLCs a little deeper in another one of my videos. I think that's the same video I talk about the business bank account in. I'm gonna link that video because I think that's all together. But you want to open up a separate business bank account before you even start running your business because you don't want your per you do not want to mix mix personal and business because let me tell y'all something when you mix personal and business and let's just say you go out and you buy some food you stop at Popeyes or whatever you gonna you don't spend your you don't spend your money on a Popeyes chicken sandwich you don't spend your business money on a Popeyes chicken sandwich because you bought it with your business bank account well when I get a business bank account I only use my business bank account for business expenses so when I had to buy a new laptop I bought it with my business bank account when I pay for Shopify every month it comes out of my business bank account okay when I have to pay for a, sh a Photoshop every month it comes out of my business bank account because all of that stuff I am going to write out on my taxes when it comes to tax time okay so you want to have a separate business bank account for those reasons okay I have a website the website that I recommend um, the only websites I've ever worked with was Wix and Shopify of course, everybody said, you can't make no real money on Wix. It's a lie. It's a lie because Renee Digital definitely made a good little penny, penny, pretty penny, a little pretty penny on Wix for the first two months I was on there. Um, but I suggest Wix or Shopify. They are both really, really good. I, again, I have an in-depth video on which one will be better for your business. Wix or Shopify. A lot of this stuff that I'm explaining y'all, I have a video on it already. So everything that I'll talk about, I'm gonna link it down below. But yeah, so that's pretty much how you start a business. Um, I think I covered everything. Um, if I left anything out, put it in the description box below if you guys want to hear anything in depth. If I left something out and you guys want a separate video on it. And leave down below if you guys, what you guys want me to do next. Any business videos that y'all want to see next that y'all want me to talk about. Um, all my e like I said, all of my, you make sure to use the code YouTube on my website for a discount off on ebooks, graphics, and on vendors okay and i will see you guys in my next video